nation and Mansa Buddha, the Rugby World Cup is finally here. And to start things off, we've got the opening matchup of the tournament coming your way, fresh and hot, out of France. It is the host, France, up against New Zealand, and the tone will be set tonight. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back along to your home of rugby and the only game of the Rugby World Cup is finally here. France versus New Zealand. This is the one that we've all been waiting for. And this is a matchup that has had some interesting changes in the build-up to kick off as well. Both sides having injury concerns that have seen their inside centre having to have a shuffle around. Moifana coming in for France to the number 12 jersey with Anton Leonard Brown filling the void for the All Blacks. There's plenty of pressure going to be on these number 10s with Dalabia going up against Richie Moanga and of course do not forget the battle of the number 9s. Antoine Dupont versus Aaron Smith that one is worth watching. The fourth pack, of course, will be an epic battle. There's plenty of talking points here. The selection of Dalton Papali'i in the place of Shannon Frizzell will certainly be one that the French will be looking to target. But there's plenty of talent, plenty of ability throughout both of these sides. So get ready, get set. The Rugby World Cup is about to kick off. Here's a look at the two benches for the sides and there's plenty of impact to come off here for these teams as well. Look out for number 22, Arthur Vincent, a man who's very familiar with this channel. He's been around the traps with Montpellier. Now he's playing his trade with the national team. For the All Blacks, David Harvey goes straight to the mix after a surprise selection for the World Cup squad. He is wearing 22 as well. And the proper disaster with no low max. Pressure now goes on off a of Tiger Fussy and Flitch Newell to do the job for the All Blacks. And for the first time, which will likely be many for the All Blacks here in France over the next two months, the Haka packs down for the All Blacks. The stage is set, the stadium is packed, and Rugby World Cup 2023 is just moments away from kickoff. Buckle yourselves in, team, it's going to be an epic two months of rugby action. We are underway! Rugby World Cup 2023 is here. And this France who are receiving the kickoff in the blue. All blacks, of course, in the black. Here is Antoine Dupont. The man with the country's pressure on his shoulders. Can he lead his team forward? Another pick and go here from the French as they look to work themselves into the matchup. There's an intercept nice and early from the All Blacks. They'll get a bit of early possession on their side and a good chance for Will Jordan to break away. But finally, just a sliver of touch there. From a desperation tackle. It's the All Blacks show, Justin. One phase, how devastating they can be on attack. Julian Machard to throw, he's trying to straight to Scott Barrett, which is not good for France now, as they've got to face themselves in the defence mode as they get out to Mark Talia. One more to Anton Lina Brown. Damien Pinot beat on the outside, but Ramos is not. Release. Good work for the French fullback as the All Blacks look to pressurise down that short side. Popoliti with a carry. Smith again. Finding a bit of space around that breakdown edge. France, they're putting pressure on this breakdown. They might turn it over, and they have. Now an exit is required. The Shards not really the man, but maybe they'll get it here, and they do. Out the left hand side. Rodan Barrett back to Talia. The All Blacks are going to run. Arnie Xavier opens it up like a can of spaghetti. Anton and Brown in support. The All Blacks almost to the 22. Smith. Kane holds it up, Savier again. Now Bernard Barrett's up on the line, that's always dangerous. Smith again. Whitelock. And Zolina Brown 
Moore looked to go wide for Maxillian. Couldn't get the offload away. Moore on the short side. Nepo Nalala. Adi Savia. He's in support now. The All Blacks force their way into the 22. Just 10 minutes shine out to Groot. Talia! And Martalia will scope down the sideline and score the All Blacks over the try of the Rugby World Cup. Martalia scores. And the All Blacks finally break down the French defence. Whilst the short side play, we've seen it from them against the Springboks. They were very strong there. And they're busted out early here against the French as well. Ethan De Glue twinkled toes down the sideline with Mark Talia. Ridiculous as it was, the only try for the All Blacks is in the books. Tough kick here for Richie Moanga to open his campaign. Right out on the left wing, strikes it well enough, and it just holds inside. Seven points to nil, the All Blacks lead France. And that's the start, exactly what New Zealand would be looking for. 17 minutes into this game, France have been under constant pressure. Hardly able to break out of their own 22, let alone their half. There's a good kick, it's just about contestable, but Laulala just gets a hold of it. Now they go to work again. Moaga gets the ball from Smith and he kicks down. Can't get a pass to Ramos and he's kicking his back into the All Blacks 22. Bonabara takes him with time and he returns back to halfway. Finding touch and ending the short lived game of drive back. The All Blacks showing that they have zero interest in playing inside their own half here. Julian Massan to throw to the line out. Last one was a shot for the Sunny it's his man. At the back, the Charles Olivon drags it in for France. Dupont releases the back line. Mufana out to Valier, goes inside looking for a break. For Ramos up in the line. Here's Halibier having a little carry from the fly half. Dupont once more looking for a bit of room around that breakdown, but he gets nothing but hammered. Now the big boys have to carry on the slack. Great one there from Borley, and it's finding a straight throw from Galfico. Now he's got to find some support. It leads to the breakdown as he takes on Bona Barrett. And France are starting to get themselves back in this game. <laughs> nice offload. Brilliant pass as well. And it could be the first try for France in the World Cup. Jalabert! The French fly half quiz in his end. And the reply is back from the home team. Well, there were some superb passes here from the French. Especially the forwards, Pinot and scrum half, that ball there from Gregory Alder, it was perfect. And then Halibert on the angle, splitting Aaron Smith and Will Jordan. Bernard Barrett wiped out the face with four from a very good run down the right wing. And that has opened this game right up. The French showing they're here to score tries, they're here to score points. And they are not here to make up the numbers, although that kick from Ramos is a touch off the mark. 7-5, the All Blacks hold their lead by two. We are almost half an hour in to the opening fixture of the Rugby World Cup. Richie Moanga puts it up and well taken by Will Jordan, although he is in a bit of trouble. A lot of French players back, but the All Blacks do well to hold on to possession. But Dr. Pavali, great tackle, Gabba Valier. Picked up and driven. He had no answer for that. Valier with a great piece of defense. Line out for the hosts. They go to the back and it's stolen. Another one stolen off the throw of Michan. And straight just like this, the All Blacks attack. Anton and a Brown away from Talia. Inside ball for Moanga. And here they go. Barrett, Savia, inside to Smith. He stays over. He is over the line! And the All Blacks just will not let the ball die! Clinical offloading skills. In short spaces, they make it work. Leonard Brown back around Mawanga. There's Whitelock back to Barrett. Salvia flicking it back and in the tackle. Aaron Smith just manages to plant it over his head in the tackle. Flamin. All Blacks extend their lead to 12 points to 5. 
France. Well, they need something to get back now into this game. Moanga should make, well, he should have made that one. Last one was further out and he sailed it perfectly. This one, he's hooked inside. And the lead remains at just seven. France five, New Zealand 12. After 35 minutes of the opening half of Rugby World Cup 2023. Try scorer. Salabert kicks us off. And that looked a touch forward, but they've been Advantage. allowed to play on as Moanga knocks the ball on. France have got an attacking chance inside the All Blacks half here. Just in the 10 metre line. Wardy has a run. The loose head prop gains a couple of metres. There's Dupont looking, always searching, probing around that breakdown. It's forward though, supports it up to task. And we will go back. The buzzer goes the same time as the ref called. Will we get a restart here? No, we will not. Assertive from the referee who says, no, I've had enough. He says the two sides to half time. It's still a very open game here. 12 points to five. The All Blacks lead thanks to a second try from Aaron Smith, but the French side needs to pick up their line breaks here. You can see they're struggling with just the one. Even possession of territory, but much work to be done in the second 40 minutes by the hosts. Back to the try scorer, Mathieu Calabia. So he gets the game underway for short little kickoff finding off Cody Taylor, who fought the ref for the Fly half here. Advantage. Aaron Smith knocked on. Good tackle from Massad. And now a chance for France to attack. Losing 10 metres on that carry back there. The ball. Again, this is where they struggle to retain possession. All Blacks, though, knock on with the French advantage. They'll go back. This time, they'll actually get to play this one out. Crouch. And it's always a danger Find. scene to one run across around those fringes. Set. We've seen a couple of turnovers now. But the French forwards just have not quite got the support lines there. And this one is sitting right in the middle. Aaron Smith's got it. Amazingly, remarkably, they've pulled it off here, the All Blacks. And now the Salvia grabs a couple of metres for his troubles. Aaron Smith and Mashan, they reacquaint themselves. And it looks like Mashan's got the turnover now. It's Fiku, the lane of Valera, Gabriel Valera, one on one, one of he knocks the ball on! Oh, travesty! All Blacks deep inside their own 22 now. Smith, way to Valera, he's turned it back to Moanga, who's knocked the ball on! And it's a comedy of errors here as both sides making massive mistakes Crouch. under pressure. Find. Just inside Sit. their own 22 here, the All Blacks. Scrum was somehow pushed off last side. They sent down. The All Blacks and managed to hold their own ball. 12-5, the score still remains. Now they look wide. Bona Barrett in the ball game. And Bona Barrett around the outside. Ramos looks to meet up with him. Barrett kicks long. This ball bouncing into the end goal. It's perfectly weighted. It's right there for Rico Iwani. Chasing hard. And Iwani will score the All Blacks third try. Bowden Barrett with the pace on the outside. Watch this rapid run. And then Ramos commits. Barrett kicks. And Rico Iwani with a perfectly weighted chase. Beats Pinot by a whisker. And the All Blacks have three. What a chase down there from Rico Iwani. Gotta love that commitment. 17 points to five. Make that 19. France need to strike and they need to strike soon. The crowd are starting to lose a little bit of their buzz. They're starting to lose a little bit of their cheeringness. And if they lose that, that's 16th man of France. It's good for the bin. As the game is back underway again. <coughs> Release. Mashan has been brilliant all night. The French hooker. Xavier pops it back to Kane. This could be a turnover yet. Should be. Should well be for France. It is. It's coming back to this side. Once again, Julian Mashan has been outstanding. Dupont nicely out. This room anchors the space here for France. Aldrin turns it back. And it's the wheels. Where's the pace? Short side. There's a bit of space on there. It's warning. 
great run there from Lucent Pro. Throws Zeller there. Now charging run. Very good from Cross. He is just a metre short. Dupont. Broom. Charging. Aldrin. Passing down. There it is. Damien Pinot. Throws the back of the game. Way out on the right hand wing. Pinot gets the try. But this was hard yards by the forwards. This here from Francois Cross was very, very close. Again, Julian Michan has been simply phenomenal tonight. And the numbers game was always going to play a role. As the All Blacks were short on defence. And now a kick from Ramos. That needs to find the target. 19-10. Here's the kick, is it going to come back? It's not, it's not coming back for Ramos enough. And two unconverted tries remain. And a lead of nine points for the All Blacks with 18 to play. This one's not done yet. France have fought back twice now. Short. Oh, that's high from Sarvia. This could be changing moment. Yellow card! Savia to the bin! The All Blacks pleading their case. But nothing they can do about that horrific tackle off the kickoff. And a window, a breath of fresh air for France has opened. Zelabir kicks to touch and he gets them nice and close to the 22. The line out needs to hit. It's got to hit to the back. And it's found the man. Flamet pulls it in. Dupont takes it in. Down the back. Plenty of forwards looking for runs. This time it's walking. Dupont, quick ball. Goes short side. Offloads are brilliant. They're coming nicely. Here's Valer. Dummies pass one. Can't stop him there. Valer. Boss of pass. Here on to Andre. And the try's there. It's a try. France are back. Mufana. It's a Mufana down the wing. We'll have to confirm it is. Mufana scores. France are back. Game on. Oh, the yellow card may cost the All Blacks. Great line there. Fleming perfectly. Celebrate to Valer. And then taking on the tackle, Aldred passing perfectly. And Mofana with the finish. And the hosts get their 16th man back. We are in for a grandstand final 10 minutes. Ramos looking for the extra two. And again, it is a straight. Not quite the kick he wanted. Leaving six points out there now, the French off the boot of Ramos. Back underway we go. Deep kick this time from the Wanga. The bomb picks it up. Now here is Antonio going the short side of Valia once more. Breaks the line, getting away from Barrett, but he's finding out Smith instead. A little roll with Russell there on the tackle count. Here's Aldrin, big pass out wide. Pino back. Nicely in there from Fiku. Fast passes. Here's Dupont. Back to Machado, who's again outstanding. Antonio, another carry. And a turnover from Samuel Wylock. That may be one back, not quite. France very quickly over that ball. Barrett offloads to Wylock. And the All Blacks remind again. Rico Iwani. He's got a gun into the corner, Iwani. And he'll put this one to bed. The hush and disappointments around the stadium is clear. But just when they've got their tails up, just when they look like they might have a fight back, the All Blacks hit a killer blow. Sam Wylock, he started it all and he assisted the finish as well. Rico Ioane, pace, it's all what he's got. And we know he's a winger. And once he got that outside lane, he was gone. A strong fight back from France, 24-15. Mawanga to add the extra two. 
Makes it 26 15, a lead of 11. And a lead that may well be too much for France to pull back now. Well, a 10 point to 7 scoreline while Adi Savia was in the bin. One minute to play. Zalabia kicks off. Deep, very deep. Finding out Smith. There goes time. And Taylor throws it back to no one. The All Blacks desperate to get this out, and they may well do it. It's all over. An 11 point win for the All Blacks. The World Cup opener is complete. And after all the talk, after all the battles, it is New Zealand that come away with the opening day win. A good fight back from France. They almost, just almost, got themselves in the picture. But the All Blacks just proved too strong in the end. Two tries for Ioani, one for Talia and Smith. Moanga converted three of them, and that was a big difference maker. Nothing off the boot of Ramos. All his kicks from the tries of Zelabia, Mofana and Pino were all way out on the sideline and all just slithered wide of the target. Full-time stats, France should be well disappointed. They had the better of possession and territory. They had a good all-round game. They just could not put the finishing touches on their opportunities. And they have fallen in the opening game by 11 points to the All Blacks. The big talking point from this game for me was how did you enjoy the alternate view? And what would you like to see in future episodes? Yes, this game was done twice. Very similar results as well, which is intriguing. But did you like the sideline, uh, what do they call it, broadcast view for these matches? Something may bring in for the World Cup, seeing as they are AI controlled games. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, what do you think of the opening game of the Rugby World Cup? Two very good matches, both between France and New Zealand, two different views, similar results. Your thoughts, let me know, and I'll see you all next time for more from the Rugby World Cup. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.